Hello, I am Wado1876, and I am not going to be debunking the Dream SMP. That would be pointless. They've already debunked themselves. They said multiple times that this is mostly for scripted things because, you know, it, it, a lot of the things wouldn't make sense on the server. Now, what I did want to do is point out some things I found, point out some things I thought were kind of weird, and, you know, just, just explore, because it, it is cool. I, I might not be a fan of, of the Dream SMP or anything like that, but I do think that there is some value in going back and looking through the world file. Like, for example, did you know the Dream SMP has a terrible mushroom infestation? That is correct. Over the past weeks, months, maybe year, that the server was up, possibly, I don't know, uh, mushrooms have just been spreading, and this is just naturally how mushrooms spread. Uh, I don't know Dream SMP lore, but I do think that these were naturally spread because of their growth pattern and how they kind of crawled into everything. And if you're curious how they spread, they just spread in any place that's dark. So, well, actually, there's probably some more clarification, but um, so they spawned pretty much anywhere that they could find and they kept on going. So anywhere that it is right now is probably the furthest it could get, um, if not a little bit further. And yeah, you can see this is probably where Endermen were and a lot of uh, like stuff that just never was seen because again I, I don't think that they cheated much I just think that uh, some things were a little suspicious but stuff like this which they would have never really seen much um, is very full of Enderman blocks because you know no one's there to clear it out another interesting thing is Pandora's Vault um, I'm not going to go over this that much because I have no like way to, 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 to know what's going on anywhere near here but I do have one thing that I can show you. Like I said, this isn't a debunk. I am just showing you the pure hard facts. There's one layer of gravel. And I just thought that was kind of cute. <laughs> I don't know why it's here. I don't know what its purpose it serves. I don't know anything about prisons. If you want to know more about prisons, I suggest going to Canadian. But there is just a layer of uh, gravel. Um, just, just, just solid gravel. Now, I don't know if this is some niche prison tech. I don't know. There's a lot of prison tech I don't know, but you know, here it is, here it stands. Another interesting thing that I found neat is under Lost Nevadas, I think I'm saying that right, there is a an Among Us lobby underneath it. Um, I don't really know when this occurred, but people who watch the series probably do. Um, but I do find it neat, it is a pretty accurate representation, and I, I don't know if this is stolen from somewhere, it was made accurately from them. Um, either way, I do think it's a little cool thing that's underneath. There's these random areas on the map where there's actual beautiful terrain and actually it's really nice. I don't know what L cast is, um, but I'm assuming it means casting a fishing rod. And these little areas are actually really pretty and I'm kind of surprised that they're on the server. There's a random egg sitting here. I don't know what it's doing there, but it's completely isolated. It doesn't appear any blocks are destroyed near it. One thing I do like to mention is the truly unfinished nature of this world. A lot of builds just stay unbuilt and just kind of in shambles or half built. This yacht, for example, is a beautiful example of that. Something that was never finished and never is going to be finished most likely, but it still shows that there was a time and place where there was serious, that there was serious determination to actually get something done. Unfortunately, that's all I could really get from this in a quick scope, and this isn't meant to be a really insightful video, but we do have the .stat file, which I can show you right now. Like if we go to someone, say, Jack Manifold, we can see that they picked up one spawner, which is an illegal item. However, there is a time where Rambu could pick up spawner blocks, and there was also some special abilities that could be done. And again, this is not proving that they're cheating or anything. They openly admitted it. It's not like this was a secret. Like, this is the file for Dream. There's no command blocks in Dreams, but there is some spawn eggs. Um, like a pig spawn egg, villager spawn egg, cow spawn egg, sheep spawn egg, pig spawn egg, more, blaze spawn egg, guardian spawn egg, and a wolf spawn egg. Which, again, not that crazy, it just made it look better usually. If we go to Dream XD's book, it doesn't really seem like there's anything much done, but interesting nonetheless. They've only really mined things. If you ever have a question about the game, for example, did Technoblade kill all of those wither skeletons? Yes, he did. He killed 2,661 Wither Skeletons, which is insane. Or if you're curious about how Baron Mr. Beast Gaming's profile is, you can see it right here. There's really nothing going on and nothing to really keep of note, but it is interesting that the data is on file. Also, probably another really legit 
account is Tommy Ennitz. There is really no signs of getting handouts or anything anywhere from any cheats. Not even spawn eggs, which a lot of people had. Anyway, that's all for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I just explored this world very briefly and didn't really check much, so go check for yourself if you want to find anything. Down in the description if you want to download it, and have a wonderful day.